What is up everyone? This is Tuesday's tip, week number seven. I'm John Wilson and these tips are brought to you from John Wilson Photography Education. This week I'm going to talk to you about a little couple of tips about taking pup photography or pet photography, how we can get the dogs relaxed. Now, the first thing that you want to do is before you take the dog's portrait, you want to take the collar off because you don't want a collar on the dog's neck. It's the worst thing that can uh, look on the dog when you're taking its portrait. But if you can't take the collar off for any reason, then you want to Photoshop that out in the final product. So let's head over to where I set up in my house to take uh, Izzy's photographs here. So this is Izzy. Um, and I set up in the house to take our photographs. So guys, when we're photographing, little um, puppies or dogs or anything like that, what's really important is that you get them used to the environment that they're in. So let them have a little sniff about. If it's a prop that you're using, let them have a sniff about at the prop that they're, they're getting used to it, not giving them the, the treats. So, Izzy, make a couple of wee noises at it. Let them get used to it so they don't feel uh, frightened round about it. A little sniff and a little around about, get some used to it. Another good thing to have is one of their favourite toys that they've got. You want them to have a favourite toy that they can play with in and around the area that you're going to be actually photographing in. If there's some clients that you have that are um, maybe trainers, they'll have a clicker and if you use the clicker to get their attention to stay and to sit, it's really good to use. And one of the most important things during a photo shoot with any dogs is to have plenty, plenty of treats. Okay, good girl. So, when we're actually photographing them, it's to take your time to make sure that they don't feel threatened, you're not forcing them on, you know. So let them have a sniff about the studio, sniff about this is just a small area in my house that I'm actually using just now. She's stealing the clicker, which is fine. <laughs> she can steal the clicker. Okay, good girl. There we go. So when we're sitting her up, another good thing to have is to have someone to help you. So if the owner of the dog or if you've got a studio assistant, really good to have. Um, have your camera set on um, set on a, a, a trigger. Right, Jacob. So I've got Jacob helping me just now because um, I'm the owner of the dog. So, okay. So we're going to set her up on the prop and just gradually bring her down. So just sit there. Good girl. Set. Set, set, good girl, good girl. So again, oh, <laughs> so just taking our time with her. Let's see if we can get your attention, shall we? Let's see, you want the clicker. You want the clicker more than anything, don't you? Okay, let's see, good girl. Right up there, up, 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 up. Set, 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 good girl. So we're getting attention, oh, stay, 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 Eddie. Good girl, good. So I'll set. Right, Jacob, are you ready to take? Quick. Take, Jacob. Good stuff, and again. Hezzy, quick. Go, Jacob. Good. Good stuff. Good, jump down. And that's it. Now you can move out the way. You can, um, you know, it's harder when you're moving back to the camera, back and forth. So having the clicker here and looking up and then getting attention, or it could be a squeaky toy, so it could be a squeaky, or it can be a bit of meat. So it's whatever the dog is, is comfortable with or whatever animal that you're you're doing it with. Okay, Jacob, move over there. Good stuff, right? Okay, guys, so that's it for Tuesday's tip and hope you enjoyed this one and it helps you with getting the dogs or animals to sit for you for the photo shoot. Okay, go, go. Well guys, I hope you found that Tuesday's tip helpful and you get out there and practice your pet photography. And if you liked that video, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, it would really appreciate it. And ring that bell so you get notified about Tuesday's tips. And I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll catch you next week on Tuesday's Tips.